a leader statement. So you compare that to the first note, of uh, the follower. And so at the very beginning of the movement, that's a canon at the octave above. And so you, you describe it according to the interval, and then whether it's higher or lower than the original. So here on this part three, on the third page, that's a, a canon at the unison. So it's exactly the same pitch, a measure later. So that continues uh, for a bit. And then at letter B, then you have this material from part two that is restated. Um, only now the violin has the lyrical theme and the piano has the continuous um, eighth notes. So what's going to happen in these forms that have these short sections, they're, they're going to alternate. These are called song forms. They're the shortest forms in music. But they're like a rondo principle in that part one is the same material as part three. And they can return, you know, a certain number of times. So in this situation, part two and part four are similar. So this returns that material, only now the violin has the lyrical theme. of this opening A idea occurs um, in the second system of page 33. And now the piano is the leader again, and it is in the tenor voice, so in the left hand. And the violin then enters an octave higher, and so you have then again this, this canon. And so that's part five, which is the same basic idea as part three and part one. And this section isn't quite as long at the bottom, the, the fourth system of that page, then the, the time interval is compressed, so they're only two beats apart. So they're beginning, which is brilliantly, that then is then where that time interval is shortened. And this then leads to a real strong cadence on dominant key that occurs at the top of the next page. At the top of the next page, on page 34 then, when that cadence is, then you have a cyclic return of the opening movement theme. So where it says subito piano, you know, suddenly piano, at the top of page 34, that's that opening first movement A theme that's presented in the violin. All right, that then leads to a transitional passage. Um, and a cadence that occurs in A flat minor on page 35 on the third system. And then you have the theme um, that is being developed there. It's actually, um, you hear this theme um, in the bass, and it just goes. Um, you have that, which is being a little big and loud and octaves. That's taken from the beginning of the movement. If you look at the um, upbeat to the third measure, so this opening theme. This is 
section. And the B section then has a letter D, the violin that brings back that dramatic theme from the end of the third movement. So the B section has a part one, which has the piano has the left hand. And that's answered by then the a part two featuring the violin that has that returning theme. I'm not going to ask you to, to you know to describe all this in total detail. The main thing you need to know is that it, that it has this this idea of continuous thematic development and that it shares themes from earlier movements. Everything's kind of related uh, throughout the sonata, but. Violin has third movement theme return. Then if you turn over to the next page in the second system, you see that then the opening statement by the piano is now restated and now it's a B flat minor. And then a letter E. Then this part two again is restated as a part four. So we got part three, B flat minor. That's the same as part one. Part four then is same basic idea. It's part two. That's that returning third movement theme. And then turn over to the next page, a letter F. Then the, the, uh, the violin has this part two idea that comes back as a closing passage. So that A theme. And so you'll hear that at letter F in the, uh, in the violin. And that finishes up the B section. And then the last two pages are an abbreviated return of the opening again. So overall, it's an ABA form. But within each section, it has all these little various parts that alternate and relate. Okay, it's a real dramatic, exciting final movement. Um, let's see. I think we are going to wait, though, because we'll run over to the next class time. So we'll stop there for now and listen to this on Thursday. The next test is two weeks from today. So pass those scores across.